Since my last video, I have extended my game, including a new rule, which means that if you are dealt with the same card as shown, you can actually split the hand into two different hands, and then play each hand one after the other. As you can see here, I've got two fours, so if I press two, the window now extends. So I now have two hands. Now I can play like normal, pressing T to twist and S to stick. Now I'm going to show you the code. A lot of this should be recognisable if you've seen my other videos. Even though I felt like I changed it a lot, a palm reflection is mainly just modularised a bit more and extended. I found when doing this that a lot of my, a lot of the time I'm actually making things more difficult for myself. Although sometimes I made it easier to maintain this. So it's a good learning experience for me to actually go back on this code and make it a bit more maintainable for myself. So the main thing I added was obviously the knee hand. So that caused quite a bit of changes, not just adding the extra line here. I created a new object. And I also fixed this for loop up by taking the computer one out so I don't have to cover up the second card anymore. Don't really know why I did that in the first place. I did the second player total and now you've got the second player's move involved. So it's quite difficult having it only being in place sometimes and not others. So I kept on having to check if it was blank or not. Now to check if you could actually split the two cards, you have to get the first two cards of the player's first hand. Now when it was the player's turn, if they press 2, check that it's actually their first go, and that their first card and second card are the same, as shown above. So then the player can split the cards, and we rename the first and second card so it can't be played again in the next go. So this is all the same, except the turn goes to player 2 next. Now split cards is new, I had to extend the window, remove the first two cards and add them to the next card, to the next hand. And then I had to redraw the board and reset the X values of all the totals and the card total too. And then player 2 move, which is the same as player 1's move. But you also had to check to see if there was actually any cards in it at all, to see if it was actually in use. And the computer player is the same. Again, you've got the total for the player 2 again, if it's needed. Now checking the winner got suddenly a lot more complicated than it previously was as the second player hand isn't always playing so to check if that was actually worth anything in the first place and then compare it to before. So the results actually tells you if one hand lost or the other, it tells you the results of both hands. So this is where a lot of things are modularised. So this is how I fixed the card, so I'm going to take that out. Now I split the card into dealing the card and picking the new one and actually drawing it onto the window. I think it total is the same, make swap is the same. Next card picks out the next card. And redo board was the most important one I think. 
because this is what allowed me to do it because I had to redraw the whole window so it's getting the cards again resetting the positions of the cards and their totals actually I don't think the totals are included here redrawing them again now this is the players go which I modularized I literally took it out of the main one and put it back in because now I had two hands and it saved me from copying and pasting the code again so that's it the full code is on github if you want to have a look or even improve it i would love any suggestions thank you for listening